It's good morning show time. It's the good morning show. It's coffee with the sassy. This isn't even coffee. This is chai tea powder with water. <laughs> I didn't want coffee this morning because... Okay, here, let's... Look, minor confession. Okay, I don't think I'm good at drinking coffee. Um, I make a pot of coffee, like, to, to the six cup mark or whatever, and then I pour a cup, and I drink about this much of it, and then it gets cold, so I dump it out or I top it off, and then I drink about that much more of it, and then there's about that much left in the coffee pot. Um, I don't know. Like, me and coffee got a weird relationship. There was a time when I actually could drink like a couple cups of coffee. Couple cups of coffee. <laughs> a couple cups of coffee. It's not that fucking hard to say. A couple cups of coffee. That's what it sounds like when when I talk, when I laugh. One of my coworkers, <laughs> we were closing one night at the bar, and he was like, blah, 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 blah. "That's what it's like when Amanda laughs and talks." And it was completely fucking accurate. I was dying because it's true. I don't know if people want to hang out with me. Um, I th there's this flavored coffee that I like, and I can't. And I can't, it's not at any of the stores that are near me that I go to. It used to be by the store that I would go to. Um, so, we have another wax-topped bowl so I can actually get high. Since my brong, brong boat. Obviously, I haven't smoked anything today because I can't fucking get my words straight. Cheers. I was originally so I was originally gonna what? Nothing. This is like way too many shows that I'm gonna do. The whole th this is supposed to be a short one. What am I? <laughs> Two minutes already. Jeez, hurry. Okay. Oh yeah, I. Wait, there's fuzz. You just gotta keep going. She woke me up this morning. That's what she does every time I sit here. Oh, you're doing something that requires your attention and for me to be quiet? I'm gonna be the loudest, cutest thing on the face of the planet. She's so cute. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this face. Look at that face. <laughs> you moved. I was trying to kiss your head. Look at this. Look at this face. Look at this face. She can fly with these ears, huh? I do that like she's flying. She's <laughs> Looks like she's flying. I love you. Go lay down, please. Go lay down, please. Thank you. Jill, I pay the bills here. I pay the bills here, and I'm pretty sure you're on drugs. You just sleep all day, and you don't... What? You make me make all your food for you. I have to put your sweater on you. Come on. Go lay down. I... This short episode... Yesterday, I got a resume from an actual Portland hipster. All the way to Portland. Guys, what's wrong with me? I need to get my shit together. I have to be a person at 7 o'clock tonight. That's... Okay. This resume. I'm not, like, outing anybody or giving out anyone's personal information so nobody fucking freak out. It's just... I swear to God, it was typed. It was three fucking pages long, not stapled either, which I, what it, where, where is it in 2018 with resumes? Because everyone has like a different fucking opinion. Like 
someone that I know that used to like manage a bank is like, oh, London needs to be this way. I'm going to well. And someone's like, no, it needs to be more like this. And then it's like, oh, well, London needs to be like this. For the people that read resumes, that's how they talk. Uh, God, I'm so good at this. It, it was not Staples, okay? So wherever we are in 2018 with resumes, I don't think that you need to have a fucking three-page resume, okay? Um, mostly because after I perused through it, I noticed that the entire second and third page were just his previous employers. Normally, people don't want to know your entire history. You're not joining the fucking military. You're not getting a fucking security clearance, bro. We just want to know, like, kind of are you stable in your work environments? Like, do you go and work at a place for, like, a couple years? Or are you, like, six months jumping around every fucking spot? I didn't look at, like, the time frames. Once I just saw that it was, like, different spot after different spot. And they were all, like, Portland. I was like, oh, oh my God. This is a real hipster from Portland. And he was... um. I don't know what kind of hipster he falls under. It's, like, all black. He had, like, capri pant things on. Um, you know, black frame glasses, black, like, biker cap hat thing that goes on your head. I don't know. Um, and it was, this is a thing that I just, I can't get over so hard. It was titled, his resume was titled, Untitled. What are you doing? Like, are you fucking serious? It's untitled. This isn't some fucking giant, like, piece of literature that you're like, oh, this is my baby and I just, I don't know what to call it, so untitled. And no, it's your fucking resume. You're not creating some fucking work that you're, like, turning in to try to get published or to have fucking somebody read it and give you feedback. Untitled. Your life is untitled, you fucking hipster. And also, look like you shower when you come in to drop off your fucking resume for a job. Okay? Jesus. I mean, not everyone is perfect. When I lived in Florida, this chick came to drop off her, or pick up an application, whatever, um, in her pajamas, PJs, jammers, whatever you call them pajamas like pajama pants and this would have been better than what she was wearing and I was like I literally was, are you serious and she was like yeah and I'm all you're in your pajamas and she was like and, and I was like oh my god <laughs> you think you're gonna get it? so this has actually worked for you before like you've gone into a place in your pajamas to apply and you've gotten a job because you think this is acceptable behavior or Florida I don't know it's just Florida um, hipster kid, I'm sorry. I'm not. I hope you get hired somewhere. I really do. Um, is chai supposed to be buttery? I'm like, this tastes like a bowl of butter a little bit. Did, <laughs> what do you guys think? It's, here, you guys, um, let's, you guys, all seven of you, um, be my research team. And... Go to Trader Joe's and get their chai mix and pour hot. It needs to be hot water. Um, it, it gives you exact measurements. If you know the way that I cook, there's no fucking guarantee there either. Maybe I got the portions wrong. If you don't, if if you put too much powder, it turns into butter. <laughs> All right, maybe that's just the way that chai tastes. Fake chai? What is chai? <laughs> Okay. Chai and high. Did I tell you guys? It was warm. I can feel it going down my throat. Did I tell you guys that I got a fucking Amazon gift card and I, like, I knew about wish lists, but it was something that was, like, in the back of my head and I only think about it with porn stars that, like, dudes buy stuff for them off their wish list because I had a porn star way back in the day on when it was just audio. Which I lost a bunch of the audio because I had no idea what we were doing. And I got really high and we got really drunk too. Whew. Yeah. She liked... Gosh. She likes to fucking smoke and drink and I was like dying. She was so cool. Great boobs too. Anyways, Missy girl. Um, but she was the one who taught me about wish lists. And she's like, oh, we need to get you one so I can get like all these 
like sex toys and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah. And then we never did it because we were all drunk. Um, and then I made fun of a buddy <laughs> for buying something off of someone's wish list for them. <laughs> and then I got a fucking, sorry, that's going to be a lot of background noise for you. A fucking Amazon gift card. And I have this like, am buyer's anxiety. Sorry, that, that hit a battery that I had to take out of. I had to do like a lot of battery moving around um, to put into my vibrator. Because the vibrator that, did I tell you guys? I'm sure I did. The vibrator that someone bought me, like a, someone that watches the show, bought me like a giant thing of the triple A's because that was what my previous one was. And now that one broke because I forgot it. And I stood up and it fell and it broke. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, so I need uh, double-A batteries now. That's the new jam, which apparently my fucking keyboard takes also. <clears throat> like, everything in my life is double-A, and I had no idea. So I just have this, like, army stock of triple-A batteries, and fucking nothing takes triple-A. Nothing. I'll start selling them on the street. Like, hey, you want some triple-A's? <laughs> um, and... Oh, this is so sweet. So sweet. This kid is like 22, I think he is. He's really young. It's like one of the... Some of the kids, that, like a parent that's like a regular that comes into the place and it's like her kid. And she's like, yeah, you have to come to this place. I really like the beer there. And he comes in and he had just gotten off of work and was like, must be mechanic or something. And he was just filthy and he came in to get some beers last night. And um, it was adorable. He was like at the end of the bar... And he was, like, getting ready to leave, and I had, like, passed off his money to my coworker and been, like, I was taking some beers out. And I was like, hey, will you give him his change? And he was like, yeah. And he was, like, telling me to keep whatever amount. And I was like, oh, will you tell him I got to take these beers out? I'm sorry. And then I took the beers out, and then he, like, waited at the end of the bar, and he was like, I, I, I just, I, I wanted to tell you, like, you're just so pretty. And he was so sweet, and he was like, here, this is for you, and, like, gave me the tip. <laughs> it's like... I, I can't remember if I've told you or not before. And he was just like, you're just, you're so beautiful. You're my favorite bartender. Like, you are my favorite anywhere. And I was, like, dropping off the beers at this table. And he was like, you are my favorite bartender. You're beautiful. And, like, walked out. And I was like, thank you. And it was just, like, a table of dudes. And I was like, here are your beers. And I was, like, super embarrassed. And because this kid's just, like, it didn't turn out. It was so sweet. It was so, so sweet, though. <laughs> and he was like, oh, buddy. Do you know how old I am? <laughs> Scoring them youngins. Mm -mm, no, it's flattering when the young kids hit on me, but I'm like, um, I'm 21. This kid at the coffee shop, he's like 20. I don't remember. Um, and I was like walking to bring someone beers or something. And he was like, oh, there's a brewery right there. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, that's cool. Like what kind of beer do you guys serve? And I was like, fucking all kinds of fucking beer, bro. <laughs> like, you got IPAs, but it's like, what, what else do you want to I, I, I'm kind of just a dick, obviously, and we all know that. And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll come in in a few months. And I was like, cool. And he's like, what are, when, like, what are you doing later or something? I don't know, it was just not a very good attempt at, like, making conversation out of thin air. I know that's very difficult to do when you're trying to hit on someone. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll probably go to sister and have a drink and food or something. I don't know, I was probably lying. Um, and he was like, oh, dang, well, cool, like, maybe we could do something sometime, and I was like, well, you, you know, like, it's, if you're around when I go to sister, I was just trying to be nice, like, I was gonna go out to the front door and avoid the kid, probably, um, and he's like, oh, I can't, I'm 20, and I was like, I'm 31, bro, and he was like, what, and I'm like, mm, yeah, I gotta go back to work, uh, do you even have a job, do you live at home still with your parents, not that there's anything wrong with living with your parents, you're like 25 30 nothing wrong with that I'm lying if you couldn't tell <laughs> I really have nothing important to talk about like I just did a stupid show and I talked about gross feelings um my no sex life I could have had sex last night um I actually there I have had obviously several opportunities to have sex um it doesn't matter. Like, I could just, this could be, but I have these, and guys would be like, I can work around it. <laughs> you know, I've, 
I'll see past this. Um, cause really it's just great. Um, I could have had lots of opportunities. I was like, what's wrong with me? I went out dancing last night. I didn't, I'm old. I am old. I can't, it was 1230. I think when my friend and we were like, we're done. And we got there like it probably 10 because we were there for a couple hours and we were like, are you ready to go? I'm just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Home. I'm like, cool. I had two beers while I was there. I had two beers. I <laughs> Why is this important to you guys? This is guys what you want. Is this guys what you want? Guys. Is... Guys, is this here what you want? I need help. My parents think I'm funny though. Mostly because I can talk to them about literally everything and shit that I can't actually like say to you guys because <coughs> it's just stuff that some people can't hear. And they're like, you need a fucking show. And I'm like, I have a show. And they're like, yeah, but one where no one will see it. <laughs> like, <laughs> and where you can say fuck a lot. And I'm like, Netflix. Because I say fuck a lot. Yesterday, um, my buddy was trying to count how many times I said fuck while I was working. I think that when I started working at this place, fuck actually became, it came in the vocabulary. There wasn't a word that anyone really threw around so frequently. Um, and now my boss would be like, fuck. Like, she's like, what the fuck are they doing? I'm like, dude, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Everyone says fuck now. Or they're like, what the fuck do you want? Like when they see me, the war, the words just fuck come out of their mouth. Uh, I think he's like, I've been here for 20 minutes and you've used, you've said fuck you to me seven times. And I was like, yeah, well, fuck you. You don't need to fucking count how many times. And my coworker, I had, he's had sex. So he was just, oh, you want to know what I was doing this morning? Having sex. You want to do anything last night? Having sex. You want to know I was having sex earlier that day? I was having sex and now I was having sex. And it was just like great sex and she's got a great ass. And I was like, fuck you. The whole fucking night, man. He was just anything. I was anything that he could turn into sex. It was just like, yeah, sex. I'm like, you are a bastard because you know that I haven't had sex. Even though I fucking could. But I, this is, I, I want good sex that I know is good sex. And I want very particular sex. Like I want someone to do the things that I want them to do to me in the way that I want them to be done to me. And I don't want to tell them that they're doing it wrong. <laughs> is that too much to ask for? I just want a mind reading man to do exactly what I want in bed. And honestly, when I was living at the old place and I was single, mingling, um, fucking, I don't know what that means, making butter and bread. <laughs> um, I, I was having sex and it was, remember it was uh, just a, what it was a sea of limp dicks? Remember that episode? Sea of limp dicks. That's what it was. Or in the first five fucking seconds, I'm not going to be fucking disappointed and just be like, okay, can you leave now? Because I'm so fucking bored since you can't be good at sex. Like, can you not? Can you go? Could you have jerked off before or something, man? Like, fuck. If you're going out and you, you know, are someone that goes out and you fucking will bone and stuff, fucking prepare your wiener. Prepare your sex game. Get, rub a couple out, be like, going out tonight, I need to jerk off in the shower this morning. I need to jerk off in the shower when I get home from work because I think I shower more often than I do. It's not bad. It's my smell. <laughs> Let me just try to sell you my smell, okay? Um... See, this makes me want coffee. Maybe I just want to torture myself. <laughs> I went to a restaurant. I went to a restaurant to get lunch before I went to work one day. This always makes me feel like I'm playing an instrument. And I ordered a coffee. And I did go on a very successful date with this very fantastic man. Um, and I had had this coffee conversation with him. And I told him that I ordered coffee. And I was like, and it... I, I don't even want it. I don't know why I did it, but it's not. I'll take a water and a coffee. <laughs> 
And, but at like, certain places, I'll, I'll drink it. Like at Loyola's when me and my buddy go on like our little rituals and we go to yo-yos and I get, we have a certain shadows and I get fucking coffee and I'll get like, I'll drink almost two cups of coffee. She comes around, she tops it off. Wait, I think that's exactly what I do at my house because it's never empty. And the guy sister always makes fun of me because when he comes to pick up my plate and my coffee, it's never empty. Never mind. Fucking habit. What was I talking about before that? Shit. Get your dick on. <laughs> Get your dick on. Showering. Showering. Masturbating. Masturbating and showering. Shower and masturbate before you go out to fuck a chick or to fuck anybody or whatever you do. Oh, God, now I feel like I have to be all PC about everything that I say because it's going to offend somebody. Fuck that. Because um, this, we're talking about my life. So I'm talking about dudes are coming out to fuck me. You didn't know when you started this night, but you were coming out to fuck me, huh? No. But it just, I don't want to have limp dicks and sad sex. And I want really good sex and I'm very... See, remember what I told you I don't like when the fucking text messages pop up and fucking tell me this shit? You know what? I do want things to pop up. Like, hey, a fucking... Um, me. <laughs> you're forgetting this today and you're forgetting this today like I need my iPad my, my laptop my desktop and my fucking phone all to like go off and tell me I forget the dumbest shit like triple plans all the time triple plans I'm like yeah I'll do that yeah I'll do that yeah I'll do that that was very difficult for me maybe I should do it this way yeah sure yes okay fuck what time mmm all at seven sick tight oopsie Mm -mm. Here, here we're here. I really can't stand it. Um. Oh. Oh fuck! This is like twenty minutes. I don't want it to be twenty minutes. Okay. Cheers. See, everyone says that wax will last longer. I got this wax yesterday. Right? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and this is double barrel. I put a little bit in each. I had to put more in it today. How is this wax is supposed to last longer? No. And then I smoke a bowl with wax on it, which is like, that's, you know, wax isn't just going to keep replenishing itself in a fucking imaginary way. But for me to be like this, this is a very good functioning high for me. I mean, in my head, shit's going fucking nuts. I'm like, oh my god, can you? Oh my god, can you fucking do it? Oh, that's over there. Um, but that like a functioning, I can I can do this. That <laughs> obviously I'm not selling it very well right now, but I totally can. Also, in addition, as well as. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, this is. I want to go on d d dates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> d d d dates. <laughs> With people that like to play games. Not like, hey girl, what you doing later? Mm, I don't want to talk to you. Never mind. Well, no, wait, I'm just kidding, girl. Not like that. Like, fun games. Stoner flex. Stoner Flex. I don't have any of the other games by me right now. <laughs> um, but I thought it means, I, you know, someone like, you, that, like, I want someone that you can fucking sit and have some music playing, play some fucking games and like chill or like, you know, that conversation. Like, it's just the, uh, the things that I want. Here's a list of the things that I want. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I went on a date with that really nice guy. Super nice guy. Super, really nice to animals. Like, ooh. Tear your fucking heart out. One of his dogs he rescued, and it's just... The dog was, like, covered in teas. <laughs> Fleas and ticks. It's not looking good. I just need to go back to bed and, like... Just try this again. All right, guys. 
um, he was fixing his mom's fence and this dog was on this property and like he was looking around and there was like no food bowl no water bowl um and the dog was like malnourished and so he just jumped the fence and took the dog back here and took it to the vet and got it all cleaned and fixed like the dog's her her name's beans fucking right i know i know everyone went oh everyone all maybe nine of you maybe nine of you especially for this episode because i have cleavage um, and so the ears were stuck up, like, fluffed up from having so many fleas and ticks on her. Like, poor thing. That really makes my skin crawl to think about. Um, and so he got her all cleaned up, and that's his little pup, and she's so fucking cute. And he got her this little vest thing from Savers, and it has a hood on it. So when she's walking around, she's got this little hood on. She's fucking precious. Love that little bitch. Um, but I went on a date with him, and... It was fucking awesome, and he's super nice, and he's like a hippie cowboy, and I really enjoy that. Uh, conversation was really easy, and gentleman like, like very gen. Um, that was that was nice. And that's I I don't know I just who knows you know I don't even. It was just a very nice date, and it reminded me, I don't know, there are nice people out there. <laughs> oh, but I got to meet his roommate last night. <whistles> oh my god. I was like, uh, why do you look at me? I'd be, like, I wouldn't be able to live with that girl. She's fucking hot. Oh my god. Like, blickety plow, blonde, bombshell, like, big gorgeous smile. I was like, damn. Yo, you live with her? Holla. She, can I come hang out? <laughs> Just kidding. She was gorgeous, though. Um, there's something I was going to say. I'm always going to say something, and I'm always forgetting. I'm going to go make some fucking non-buttery <laughs> coffee. I don't like the coffee that I have. I think that's also a mega issue. I need to go back to, like, my favorite coffee before the ex turns me to his fucking coffee. Um, oh, and pan I made pancakes yesterday. I don't think I should make pancakes again today, but I've just really been on like this. I want pancakes, but I don't peanut butter. Fuck. Okay, this, you guys don't care. And I was supposed to stop. Oh, my God. Okay, bye. Get out of here. Leave. You go. You're not talking too much. I'm. You're talking too much. This is why. It's because, like, I can I can just be really high all the time. I mean, we went on like a company retreat and we went camping. It was fucking awesome, and. I was packing all high, and I'm like, I don't even know what I packed. I was super stoned. And my boss was like, you were high when you were packing? And I was like, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty, like, I didn't want to be all, um, I'm 100% high all the time. <laughs> like, every time you see me, I'm high. You don't know it, but I'm always high. Um, it used to piss off my ex all the time. He was like, you know, we have these really important conversations, and you're high, and you forget about them. And I was like, it's just because I... Ugh, that's really rude, and I'm a terrible person. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> but I, I like, I, the weed didn't make me forget is because I wasn't fucking listening, bro. I don't want to hear you whine and bitch about stupid shit, so I just wasn't listening. <laughs> you blamed it on the pot for no reason. It was because I'm a dick, okay? Um, weed is just the greatest thing. And I've been watching Disjointed too, which just, I, it's seeding my brain with just, marijuana is cool, and Marijuana is fun. I can't anymore.